Okay, we're wrong. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Adam made you a cup of tea. Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Cheers. Cheers. Important stuff, eh? Mm. Mm. Anyway. Good. May I introduce <laughs> this one? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, fine. Um, I feel a little bit like one of those people getting ready for their music lesson when they realise they haven't done their homework and stuff. Because I had a plan for what I was going to do today. And um, our roof is being repaired at the moment and I've been roped into um, cutting up about, well, rather a lot of money's worth of oak for the roof. So that's been um, an absolute nightmare, to be honest. So there we go. But what I thought would be really, really interesting, and this kind of sprang to mind after our last one about yeah. the two bows. Yeah. Um, is because I've been my eyes have been opened a little bit about bows um, because obviously I'm a violin maker and I'm interested in violins. Yeah. Uh, but clearly I'm interested in bows as well, and I've always kind of thought of it as a completely separate instrument. Yeah. And to be honest, it's one I'm not very good at playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Don't really, say that. Well, no, no, it's true. It's true. So I'm kind of hoping that we can have a, a chat about bows. What makes a good and a bad bow, in your opinion? Okay. What, where you might use different bows for okay. different things. Yeah. And then just destroy my technique and tell me what you think I'm doing right and wrong. Basically, is that right? Are you going to accept that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm aware it's, it's. No, no, I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. But it's always worth to ask because I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. quite direct. Yeah, I know. I thought. Oh yeah. yeah. It's called self promotion. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it just? <laughs> so, absolutely. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, so. Um, you wait, why are you using those? Oh. Not, it's um. I, I, I intended just to get a um, a cushion with collapsible feet, um, but the um, oh, just... Devon Strings. Yeah. Um, uh, I sort of went to their stand in, in Sidmouth at, at the festival, and they uh, they said, "Oh, you might like one of those." That's so, quite nice, actually. Yeah, it, it's not bad. It's slightly bigger, yeah. which makes it a bit awkward going into the, the Hiscox case because there's it's a bit spaces of. Space, space is a bit of a premium yeah. already. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to use just just the one violin. You use your main fiddle. Yeah, uh, and then this one is your main now, isn't it? It is my main one now, absolutely. And where's the other one that had the cloth top cut? Is that the same one? Got a bit of cloth on the end of it. That now lives on the Isle of Wight with its new owner. Oh. Um, okay. All right. Now you've got a new one. Yep, yep, yep. Well, yep, I have. So, um, I'm slightly nervous about this actually. I'm not. <laughs> so, we should start oh, with me playing something. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then. Do you want, which bows do you normally tend to use for right. that? That's such a good question. So, because um, you. Okay, I, 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 if I was going to. Uh, um, I didn't think you used those so much. I thought you used the the baroque, ones. baroque sort of stuff. Okay. Well, no, you're right. Um, <laughs> I don't this think is, like this is this is, this is what, play those. This is what I played at the last gig we did. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So, do you want to say what it is? Do you know what it is. Started with, didn't we? Um, sort of part of the atmosphere. Yeah.
it's just like a music lesson. Can I just... I, no, you I just need on. to rapidly go through this. No, no, you carry on. So I've got... Um, what would be a nice idea is if you just sit there and say which bows you would actually okay. normally use. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, cool. So I've got, on the same I, I've got three traditional style bows. I've got three Baroque style bows. I have gone for what I believe to be the best of the traditional style bows because I actually um, picked it up the other day and for the first time ever it felt like it worked with a violin. So that's why I'm playing that one. Then I've got um, the French one that we mentioned ah, on, yes. on the first video we did last week, which is much like that one, but is, is kind of lighter. Mm. I think the French one is stiffer, but this one seems to have its weight a little bit further up. Okay. Then we've got, um, so they're, they're worth well into the quite a few hundreds. And then we've got this one. Which I bought for twenty five pounds. Are you telling me this bow? Yeah, <laughs> this, about this bow. This is a Chinese one of them. Then two hundred pounds Glen Titmus Baroque one, which I absolutely love. Um, did you send the other one back? I did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then this is a, a cheap eBay snakewood one. We probably won't touch this one this evening if you don't mind, because it's actually it's been. Um, it's got um, plastic um, oh, okay. magic hair, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Super. New hair or true hair or something oh, okay. other like yeah, that. Yeah. And I had it done just simply to test it, and it's horrible, that one. That okay. one I'm not saying they all are, <laughs> but this, this type is. Anyway, it's a good job I don't know the name of the actual. But I'm, I'm not sure what type of hair that is on there. It's synthetic. And then this carbon fibre. Um, Sort of baroque style so uh, based special. Base special. So, I'm going to shut up a bit now. Okay, so first of all, what I was going to point out to you, and you, I don't know if there's a reason why you hold, do you hold your bow in a particular way for a reason? No. Okay, so. Has, just, that's just the way it's happened. Okay, so just because I'm a bit of a stickler for the technique side. Yep. Do you hold your bow like that before? Just like to put this out, see? So it's got like a full hand. So the thumb goes here in between, the yeah. patch in there, you sort of like curl round. Like that business. I yeah, I've seen your little finger. That. I've seen all of that business. Okay. Yeah. Do you like that? No, I absolutely hate the feel of that. Okay. That's because it's different. <laughs> yep, yep, because I'm not used to it almost certainly. <laughs> because what I'm gonna do is take this because I've got a piezo pickup in the bridge, which oh, okay. is spoiling the sound a little bit. Okay, so. that's fine. Sorry. So not a fish one. It is, yeah. I thought so. I was going to say. Yeah. It's very nice. Anyway, so what I wanted to just quickly say about bow holds, yeah. before anything else, it's very important because a lot of fiddle players play with that little finger up. And I find a lot of them miss a lot of the... It's all about balance. Because if you were to hold your bow and you accidentally lost those two fingers, you should be able to play with those bows. Right. Little finger. Your, I call it your pointing finger, sorry everybody, but your pointing finger, so, and your thumb, because you're about balance. Now, when you're playing, if you think about this, and this is another thing, you've got to know, so I do this, so on this, so you may want to put your fiddle down for a minute, so this is the lesson on bow hold, hello everybody, so, <laughs> what's your favourite point? Uh, Probably every a Guinness, I uh, guess. In a bad room. So, if you put this bow in the other hand, Castle Brown at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flash <laughs> out. So, if you put the other bow in, in this hand, the bow. Yeah. So you're going to hold a point in this hand. Yeah. And what you're going to do? We're going to do something really horrible. We're going to tip it down the drain. Okay. 
So, if we put our hand out in front of us, it should look almost a bit like a cat's paw, like you're pouring up. Yeah. Yeah, I so, think it's actually a really good way so to point, it. <laughs> Just in case Aidan Fisher watches this, Aidan Fisher was one of my old viola teachers, and okay. he used to play for the Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra. Okay. And he taught me, pint, get a pint of Guinness, pour it down the drain, get your bow, slot it in. There you go. And that is <laughs> So the sad thing is you've got to find a drink you like. And you've got to pour it down. But what were the rest of the fingers like? So before? were they They were okay. Okay. But what you kind of want to try and think about is again, you've got the pour, yeah. and you're trying to evenly spread the hand out. So, because what you're wanting is control. I and mean, if you can, this Index finger? Yep. Point your finger? Index finger? You want to stretch a little bit further out if you can, because that is quite vital for the next bit. Can I just ignore all of that stuff and just see what I was doing? Yeah, I yeah, of course. Even think about it, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> right, so that is what I do at the moment. So it's the, uh, it's the, Croaky hand fiddle playing hold. And, and, and I will admit, <laughs> sometimes it ends up about there as well. Yeah, I know a lot of fiddle players that so actually play here. Yeah. It's, and I, it's, don't, I don't ever intend to, but it, I don't know why. But we're okay, not. So. It's, it's all about making sure that we think about our technical skills. So, point, move over, that's it. Lovely. Classical side. <laughs> right, now we're going to do another trick. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, uh, so <laughs> we've got this hold, so, and you've got that really well. So when you're holding it, it's fine. Just extend that top the index finger a little bit more because you're going to need that in a minute. That really is uncomfortable now. Now, can I show you something with your fiddle? Yeah. Okay, so the reason why we're doing that is we kind of want to make sure we go up. So we're having this nice push pull feel. Okay, so. That's because it's I'm like right around here well, and relaxed. I'll do it. The, I'll do it this way, man. I'll do it. Way, I'll do it <laughs> the way I get it. Okay. So you're kind of. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> it's what teacher says, not what teacher does. <laughs> and it, you all heard this one. <laughs> but I tend to do that, and actually, I mainly do that for whatever reason. Because. Sometimes a lot of fiddle players get pains in their hands. I feel like I, feel like I will if I carry on with this grip you're showing me. No, 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 you'll be fine. Oh. Well, this is going to take a lot of relearning. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right, now we're going to try something. Relax your first finger back down again a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so when you get used to that, if you needed to, if you ever had a problem with your hands and they were hurting, the more surface you've got covered, mm -hmm. the less pain you get. And if you can bend that little finger, I've got a double joint little finger, so sometimes I, mine caves in. So you kind of almost want that kind of look. So they're sitting on the top? Yes. Yeah. Cello yeah. players, tend to hold it like this. Okay. But we're a violinist. Or in your case, violinist. That's it. I don't know what I'm doing with this. That's I'm fine. Up, down, down, up, 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 down, right. down, up, down. Now up, there's another thing up, I want down. To, there's something else I want to really cover with you. Yeah. You, you know Karate Kid? No. You know the film Karate Kid? Uh, I've Please heard, tell I've, me you do. I've heard of it but I've never oh watched it. Oh my word. <laughs> Okay. That film's technically older than me. So, me or you? Uh, anyway. 
Right, so... <laughs> I did dye my hair grey. Okay, carry on. We're carrying on. Brothers, technically. No, so, right, so if you put your fiddle down and your bow down, okay, it's a bit of, I call this a bit like Tai Chi. Yeah. So when we're thinking about the bow hole, it's natural, isn't it? It's got to be nice and relaxed. So what we're thinking is if this bow's in front of us, we're pushing our wrist down. So okay. the wrist going down, yeah. and then it goes up with the hand following afterwards. Okay. Up. Okay. Right. That's the motion we're going to have. So if we were playing, we're pushing. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't do that. No, you don't. I... And it, and it's like it's almost like a bone from the arm. I think I probably am. Rather than from. Okay, now that actually feels like an important piece of information. It I'm is. not saying the rest isn't. It just <laughs> it, it worked. The reason why I did the first part first. If you I'm keep doing it now, I'm, I'm coming up with my arm. Yeah, arm if first. you. Well, that's not. That's. What? <laughs> With, your, with the handhold, it works better with the handhold, trust me. Jesus. Yeah. I know that doesn't look like I'm doing what you said, but I really am trying, honestly. I know, I know. Oh, no, that's um, not working. Try again. Slow, slow it down. So. You really do have to have your arm up yeah. to do this, don't so you? Because I think what I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm doing a, that a bit. I'm, I'm yeah. wasting my arm to down. So to you're almost being down up. So you are. You're trying to keep a nice smooth movement. Because I always feel this uh, classical violin is like kind of like this, and that's. If why, you see, it? most right. of them got most of them because they bow from the fingers. Right. Okay. So bow from the fingers first. So that the fingers are what helps with the motion. Welcome to the World Classical. <laughs> you see, the reason I want to do this is I want to be able to play airs with a more lyrical tone. Because yeah. I, I do things like... Um... Yeah. So now I'm, I need to be... And be on top, almost like be on top of it, because... This is... That actually feels completely wrong at the moment. Yeah, and it's because... How long have you been playing the fiddle? Uh, <laughs> about 20 odd years, I suppose. Well, I'd like to point this out. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Who taught you? No one, really. No. Okay. Yeah. You see, well, it's like one of them YouTube learners, I call them. Mm. But, you know, I always think things like this... If you learn a correct technique in the first place, yeah. you're kind of well away. Now, this technique really works. You're going to hate me if you keep that little finger down. You see, that's almost what makes it impossible. I know. But it's almost like that. How I practice it without the foot of the fiddle is that. But this is making the bow rotate. Yeah, it will do. Okay. Right. So you, you kind of, I play with half hair. something right then. So I play, <laughs> so I, I play with half hair. If you watch me play most of the time, I'm half hair bowed. What do you mean by that? So I, only, I, I shift my bow to one side. Which way? Facing me. Facing out? So, so the hair's away from you? I just double check. Yeah. Let me just double check. Sorry, double check. I might be talking rubbish. No, no. I'm not sticking away against yeah. him. Oh, yeah. So the fa hair is facing you? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Because then if you think about it... That's had two gigs since you last played it. It's really nice. And, uh, and it's really nice. And fine tuners on all yeah. the things now. I wish you'd done it on everything. <laughs> Do you? Do you? I mean, yeah, I never want you. Do you? Yeah. Okay.
I think Flesh is great. Yeah. Okay. And because he gets that minuscule bit. I know, I know. Right. Always got to reach you and everything. So, big bang, you bit, wrist, so you're going up, down. So, remember, and also, oh, Jesus. I know you're going to hate me. You'll love me at the end of it. Can you go on? <laughs> so, <How>? when? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not getting there yet, I'll tell you. That's it. Okay, right, another technique quickly. So you've got the right, you've got that movement. That's very nice. Push smooth. Right, now put the weight on that finger, so push down on that finger. I, now that is something I think I do. So that I, that went. That's not. But keep it a constant. I'm having to kind of think about everything at the moment. So that's right. I'm not getting a lot of bow bounce. So that's know right. Yeah. And it's only because you've got to keep it nice. Lovely. Not really. The tones were trying from here. Yeah. Okay. Right, go on the G, go on the G and dig in. Okay, so if I put the your fiddle, if you play each string, each one has its own sort of bow pressure, I call it. Okay. So I put a lot of By this time, it's just what you're pushing onto the end. Yeah, but it? you kind of want, yeah, but with the, especially with the Do you see what I mean? violin, not the that's down. And yeah, that's, so you kind of Okay. So you kind of. I kind of forgot the camera's there. This is really oh, yeah, useful. sorry. I'm, I'm loving this. <laughs> that's great. I find this so useful, actually. But it's, it's all yeah. about making sure you put that. I think you need to face this. So, yeah, that's it. What you're trying to do yeah. is you're putting the weight on your first finger, so your index finger, yeah. onto a string. So it's like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a way, a good way of practicing this, which I was taught myself, put the bow on the string and put some weight on the first pressure on the first finger and just see it go up and down. Can you try this bow as well? Because I want yeah, you to tell me which one, if, for which one of these is better for the technique you're trying to teach me. This one. Yeah? Right, okay. That one's alright, this one's... You seem quite emphatic about that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Try it. Try it again, and just put the weight on the first finger and push down. That's it. Now slowly, the sound of the violin teacher. Very, very slowly. When you're playing with this hand. Yeah. Right. So there's a book called Sevchik. Right. Every folk player will hate me. It's a, classical, it's a classical studies book for violin, and it teaches you to keep your fingers down wherever possible. All right, not like this. Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> 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 it didn't mean it's quite like this. But what you're trying to do is, with, you, with this sort of hand here, playing this way, yeah. what you want to try and do is, if you put your... Do you ever do vibrato? Yeah. yeah. Believe it or not, having your thumb on the side like you've got it, it's actually quite the lot
So, what we're doing... We're talking about bogeys, I know, I know, but what... I can't do... I can't do half! You can't do that to me! Anyway, but what I was going to say, just to help you out in all seriousness, yeah. if you if you keep... So, when you're playing the G major scale, so if you take the simple as G major, keep... Can't play G major now. That's all right. It's, it's all gone. gone. It's all so gone. So just put as much more pressure. Bit less. Yeah. I forgot one thing with the sound now. Dragging that. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think you're ever going to like my little finger. So the one thing I can suggest to you, if you don't want to do the little finger part, no, no, I, I, I would like to. You need try. to. You need to. Because I mean, you're describing a technique which, to be honest, th there's that that famous phrase. I, I can't remember who said it. Was education is what remains after everything you've learned has been forgotten. And oh, if yeah. you don't mind me saying, you're saying learn all this, do this, and then you're doing what looks like what you've decided to do, what you've picked out of it. Yeah. If that makes sense. And it, and the thing is, <laughs> kind of within that, mm. it's quite true though. Mm. So you learn the fundamental technique, and then you kind of tailor it behind what you're wanting to do yourself. Yeah. Because for me, I'm not. A, I am more of a player that likes to play slow airs. Yeah. I yeah. I love playing quick stuff, but I actually I'm a muck, so I'm I'm a very lyrical player. Yeah. So. I, the one thing I, because when I got taught about this from um, Liz Holbrook and Aidan Fisher, they, they was very much saying to me, you know, keep it like this, do this, do that. And they're, they're perfectly right in what they're saying. And then when I took it to folk music, it was almost like, well, hang on a second. That works to a degree, but I have to be able to make that tone. Yeah. You see, what, I, what I'd like to do, because I mean, obviously, I play a lot of folk, quite clearly. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, I do um, a lot of fast stuff, obviously, I just, well, whatever. For example. Um, and I'm quite happy with the tone I make for that sort of thing. But it's when I, uh, when I, when I do... Can I show you? Yes, so, for example, I'm going to play in a shape. Do you want to? Okay, so. Summer feel. Yeah. Very, very similar feel. I'm just putting at the start of my each bow stroke. I'm just putting a little bit of weight on the little finger, right. on that, on the main finger there. Weight, weight on the index. Oh, yeah. the index. Right, okay. But I'm releasing straight away. So as soon as, as you think, yeah. yeah. But that, that's something I do. That's something I do. It's this. something yeah. you do. Yeah. Perfect. But you rush the bow. Okay. So it's almost like. <laughs> okay. That's that's not me trying to criticise. No, it's no, just, no, no. just my observation. Of the, well, the reason you, you, the reason why I'm here is to make a video. Yeah. Nothing about the free lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Right, stop 
just slow it right down. You can see sure you mean the movement? Yeah. Well, it feels like I'm in the wrong part of the boat. It's like I want to play it up here. That rather than here. Now. Is, am I allowed to do that? Now, that's another thing you see. <laughs> you see, those are blooming fiddle players. So you can play really there, or that when you hear them saw. Oh my word. Yeah, now, I, I mean, don't basically, mean to... I kind of use that bit, let's be honest. You now. either see fiddle players that use down there, or up there. You never see a fiddle player use the whole boat, really. Nice. Okay, well, that it's is nice. actually going to take some. That's really lovely. I do understand what you're saying because now you've said it, I recognise that I do go. You know. Yeah. Wee, you and, know. It, and it's it's just it. <laughs> when I, I can remember when I first started playing particularly slower airs. I'll give you one. One thing which um, uh, an old friend of mine, who quite a few people probably know of, is Pete Shepherd from the Yetis. Oh yeah, yeah. From the, when he was accordion, and of course I played piano accordion as well. Um, the one thing you taught me, which is really important, which I translate to the violin, is every note counts. Mm. You should never let a note just go flying past. Every note has its place, and it should be played and respected. Yeah. And when you put it in that way, and you kind of just it's almost a bit like um, you're caressing the instrument in a way, because mm. you're not then wanting to. And it's it's no disrespect, but when you're rushing, yeah, you're you you play such lovely tunes. If you slowed it down a bit and just literally think about how you're bubbing it, yeah, because if you can see that movement, yeah, is literally. And the thing is, what what I don't want to do is I don't want to become a classical player. I want to become a better folk player. And the thing so is, I do, I do. I, what, what I want is just to have have a little bit more colour at my disposal. If, if use, you understand what I'm saying. Use that's this finger then. Yeah, that's what I'm Use after. that finger more. Yeah. And also, but don't be afraid to use the whole bow. But your comment about actually not biting and rushing in when yeah. I'm having to really, really nice. fight that now. <laughs> <laughs> if that's you fighting him, then yeah, you need okay. to keep fighting. Because yeah, okay. okay. it's, it's no different. And also, yeah. dynamic contrast. Yeah. Because if you think about it, um, taking the shit. I think it's something that's. I'm, I'm quite good at dynamic contrast. Like you I are think. good I, at I, dynamic I, I do use that. I like to. But. but then if you think about. I mean, if mm. I play. So if I play in a folky way. Yeah. So I'm not going to play my little finger, but I'm going to use yeah. all the same technique style. So the first finger pressure, Go on. all that stuff. But I'm just going to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can still do the same thing. Yeah. But I, I'll be fighting everything I know then. <laughs> so. Because I still use the whole bow and folk. <laughs> if I do folk. <laughs> easy to become at a level doing that, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, and quite a lot of people, especially playing at the tip. Yeah. I don't know how much that's going to be real, it's, it's a criticism of faith. It's, it's not meant as that at all. I didn't mean to yeah. yeah, it's yeah. not a sort of criticism, yeah, it's just okay. a main thing, because if you think, if you play at speed, Still doing yeah. is controlling what that's doing. Yeah, okay. So okay. So the okay. one. So just to recap a little bit. So. So go back. Point. Yeah. yeah. Favorite point. Unfortunately, I'm going to pour out. Yeah. Okay. 
you're then going to slot the bow in, yeah. but where the gap between the frog and where the leather pouch is, go in the middle. You're going to try and keep the little finger up. If you don't like that, I don't mind if you do that, as long as you still have that control over this finger. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna, but I think you I'm should try it. be practicing like this and see what happens, basically. No, no, you haven't committed. Yes, me, yes, I'm, yes, yes. I'm, I'm yes. willing to learn technique. That's why I'm. <laughs> I just said yes, so it made me happier. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do have that. And what you're going to remember also is the Karate Kid method of wipe on, wipe off. Yeah, now that's now that's really useful. Yeah, but I'm struggling with that. But I will. You actually I'm, did it though. I, I, now I'm going the wrong way. You see, like this. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's called a snake chanter. Where's the yobo? Um, but as soon as you start thinking in that sense, where you're actually breaking it okay. there, right. I will, I'll give it a go. Yeah. And also, it stops any elbow problems, like okay. pain in the elbows. Um, I helped a fiddle player who is quite well known to the circuit, but I won't mention names, no. um, who had real problems with their wrists with bowing. And I, I, I basically taught this fiddle player the same technique, and it alleviated their problems. Moment, it feels like it's going to give me more problems. This, <laughs> it, 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 but it's that whole way of learning, isn't it? It's that whole muscle. Don't rush it. That's, that's so much nicer. That's a lovely tone. Yeah, it's going to take me a long time to relearn it. I'll be honest, though. Yeah. It does sound lovely. Does it? Oh, I hope when you watch this back, <laughs> okay. you hear from the beginning <laughs> to that point. Okay. How much? Because exactly. I can hear the change already. Good. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going on it. The, I'm conscious that this is already oh, adding yeah, up yeah, time-wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I don't, I don't want to bore people. Because we were, we were going to talk about... I don't know. Well, well I, I did say... That's, that's fascinating. Yeah, well, I'm finding this so interesting, to be honest, personally. Um, I, it's, we were going to talk about some of these other bows, but I don't know if you want to or not, really. Should we leave it like this? I think leave it like yeah. that, and then we'll actually do a separate one on the bow. Yeah. Because what might be quite nice, uh, mm. without meaning to sound um, all classic -y, yeah, I might actually bring some Baroque music in yeah, and okay. show the difference between... It's all gone down the pan now. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't put your fiddle down. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, anyway, yeah, good. Right. <laughs> So I promise, I promise, teacher, I'll do some homework this week. <laughs> Next week, you'll see. Uh, yeah, He's forgotten everything I said. Yeah. And I have to repeat the whole lesson again. Okay. It's exactly the same as I do with my, you know, when I used to do my lit lessons. But you can hear the difference, and I hope that when you listen back as well, I, I shall listen back with interest. You will see yeah. the difference between the start of it and the end of it. But but I will I'll carry on with it, playing with those anyway. So I'll, I'll see, you know, what, what I can get out of it. It's, it's just, it's just about also relaxing yeah. whilst okay. playing. Cool. Because the thing is, it's not an instrument you can have any tension with, really. No. You have to relax with a violin. You can't play with tension. Okay, so that's it for this week. Basically, I thought it was going to be a discussion about bows, but it's turned out as a free lesson, as far as I'm aware. Well, for the price of a cup of tea. So, so <laughs> I'm really so, sorry about that. No, 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 that couldn't have been better. <laughs> but we also, so we will, um, I, I think we'll, we'll do another one pretty much so next, well, fairly soon, where, where literally we'll be looking at bows and discussing balance and yeah. you know, stuff like that. And what Does I that might, sense? Yeah, and probably what would be a, bit, a better idea for me is yeah. to actually bring some music where the bow would be relevant. Right, okay, cool. Because then you, you can hear its relevance yeah. within the style of the piece. Fantastic. Um, which is then obviously using a Baroque piece yeah. with the Baroque bow. Yeah. And then also vice versa. So how you would how it would work each way. So having a Baroque bow for a classical piece. And a, yeah. I don't know. I'm really saying that because I, I'm I'm very much into my classical side. I hope the sound's been all right on the video um, because the central heating has kicked in and it's gurgling and drumming away in the background. So it would be interesting. So pretty cool. Anyway, thank you as much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. See you soon, folks. Cheers. Julie Pet. <laughs>